Hello and welcome to Morningstar. I'm Emma Wall and I'm joined today by senior fund analyst Peter Brunt to discuss the new Woodford Fund launch. Hi, Pete. Morning, Emma. So there will be a new Woodford Fund. We have this confirmed that it will be launching in March. Mm -hmm. It's going to be called Woodford Focus Income, and it's going to target that higher income space. We did have some inclination this was going to happen. He surveyed his shareholders in June to see if they would be interested in a fund that targeted a higher level of income. What do we know so far? Um, that's right. So we know that um, it's going to be targeting five pence on the pound upon its launch. Um, they're going to be targeting 120 per cent premium, dividend yield premium uh, on the FTSE all share. Um, it's going to be invested predominantly in UK equities, but with the freedom to go globally. Um, they're not going to be following the 80-20 UK overseas uh, demands of the, the IA in UK equity income sector, so they won't be classified um, in that sector. Now, five pence in the pound is a pretty punchy char target, mm -hmm. especially considering that we are in a low growth, low yield environment, and also considering that the original fund, Woodford Equity Income, hasn't actually managed to hit its target either, has it? Well, I mean, it, it, it has, but currently it isn't. Um, it's, it's yielding below the market currently. There are a number of reasons for that. Um, but you know, one actually, one other fact uh, of of the fund will be that it's not going to invest in unquoted companies, and that's one of the reasons why the the current fund that he has out in the market doesn't yield because it has a, a significant amount invested in small um, small cap companies that, that typically yield slightly lower, uh, and in unquoted companies. So. This new fund, as we understand it, will be not investing in unquoted. We probably expect it to have a, a slightly larger tilt to companies capitalised um, further up the cap scale. And looking then at, at this space, it's not the first time that Woodford has run a higher income portfolio, is it? He has form in this sector. He has form in the sector. Um, he's you know, one of the biggest names in the sector. He has one of the longest track records in the sector running the, the high income and income funds at Invest Cape Perpetual um, from back in the late 80s, early 90s, up to 2013. Um, you know, during that time, those funds did yield higher than the market at times. They also were below the market uh, yield at times. He didn't really manage those funds to hit the 110% uh, yield requirement. So. This probably does mark a, a slight change in his approach where he's, you know, as we understand it, actively targeting 120 per cent yield. Now, we expect in this world of low income where people are clamouring for yield that mm -hmm. this will be a popular fund launch come March. Yeah. His last two fund launches have proved so. What can we say about the amount of money he could be potentially running here? Because we do, as, um, as a ratings agency, take into consideration the amount of money mm -hmm. that, that one individual is responsible yeah, for. Yeah, good question. Well, I mean, when he was at Investco Perpetual, he ran over 30 billion um, in the one strategy. Um, currently, he's managing over 15 billion um, at, at Woodford um, Investment Management. Where it's a little bit different is he, as I mentioned, is invested more in smaller cap companies. Um, so it's something that we do keep a, a closer eye on, and we're, we're more aware of. You know, I think this this new fund launch, um, you know, should it not be invested in unquoted, as I said, we probably imagine it to be more scalable um, as a result. So something to keep an eye on, but, but we can't really have a, a firm word until we see the fund launched. Pete, thank you very much. My pleasure. Thank you. This is Emma Wall for Morningstar. Thank you for watching.